everybody like the game. Just listen to what I'm saying and do it and take a chance. I put my hand up on your hip. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does everything that a spider can. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider, Spider, Spider-Man. Look out, old spider is back. What, 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 what? Marvel, Collector Core, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. He is a man with the powers of a spider, which means everyone hates him. Uh, but actually, everybody loves Spider-Man. He's like one of the most popular Marvel characters. It's uh, not surprising that he got his own box, although I figured they might save this box a little bit for next year when the uh, Spider-Man movie comes out. But, uh, alas, they did not. Uh, the Marvel Collector Course people have teased us once again with not offering us any kind of X-Men box. <sighs> and instead, we got a Spider-Man box. Um, I've heard a couple of rumors about this box. I've heard that there is no shirt in this box and that there is a completely brand new line uh, that has never been in one of these boxes before. Whether it's a new line uh, completely, you know, like it's never been seen before, or if it's just something that Funko's made that is exclusive uh, to this box so far, I don't know, but those are the two things that I've heard. Um, I don't know what to expect from this box, really. Uh, last month we had that Spider Gwen t-shirt so it almost would make sense if there's no shirt, uh, just because um, that, you know, we got a Spider-Man-ish type shirt last uh, month. Um, I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if we're going to get multiple Spider-Man stuff, if we're going to see Miles Morales and Spider-Woman and Spider-Gwen, or if we're just going to see uh, plain old uh, Spidey uh, Peter Parker. So we shall see, but the only way we're going to see is if we open up the box. So let's grab this handy-dandy knife, Mr. Slick here. And let's open up the box and see what kind of Spider-Man stuff the Funko Marvel Collector Corp. Collector box stuff. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, ow. Son of a biscuit. Okay, there we go. There we are. We got our patch and our pin. And shockingly enough, it's Spider-Man. Who would have thunk it, right? Uh, we've got... Uh, yeah. They've been using some super glue uh, because some of the earlier boxes had been like rattling around and the pins were uh, going uh, going berserk around in the box as was the uh, the patches. So they improved on the glue and now they are, uh, they, those things don't come off. Um, so we've got the pin. It is a uh, Spider-Man pin, obviously. This is uh, similar to what he wears like kind of on his chest. Um, this is a nice pin. Um, it's got the Marvel logo on it. This is a really nice pin, honestly. Uh, I'm not a Spider-Man fan. In fact, I almost didn't get this box just because I'm not a big Spider-Man person. And the only reason I got the box is because I decided to not get the box after they had already charged me for the box. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was kind of going back and forth on whether I was going to do it or not. Uh, but I decided to, to cancel it, but it was too late. They would already charged me. So I was like, all right, well, whatever. We'll see what we get. So, um, but I like this pin. I'm glad I did because uh, this is a really nice pin. And um, they've been, the, these Marvel, uh, these Funko boxes have been very good with the pins. They've been very good quality. Um, so for that, I am uh, excited uh, for getting this box. And then of course we have a Spider-Man patch. Do, 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 do. Shocking. Um, so far, uh, it looks like it's just regular old Spider-Man. Nothing special. Uh, but we've got the round patch here, uh, nice quality. It's got the spiders on the side, uh, Spider-Man's face, and uh, obviously it says Collector Core. Um, another, another great looking patch, uh, good color. Um, yeah, quality, quality patch and pins. Honestly, no matter what the box looks like, the patch and pin have been fantastic. So let's see what else we've got in the box. We've got our flyer for next month's box and then the spoilers. So we'll put that to the side because we do not want spoilers. No, 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 no. We've got our comic book right up on the top. And this is really kind of cool. This is a variant uh, cover. Um, I'm guessing this is the Amazing Spider-Man number 16, Collector Core uh, edition. Uh, you've got the Funko Peter Parker, um, you know, hanging on the wall. 
Um, that's a good looking. That's a good looking cover. Um, again, like I said, the pins, the patches, and these uh, variant covers have been just really good. Uh, really, you can't complain one bit. Uh, honestly, these have been absolutely fantastic, and uh, this is just another one. It's even got the like on the where is he's. Uh, where his, the, the, the webbing is coming out of his, his uh, wrist, it's a th if you can, and that's, a, that's spelled T-H-W-I-P. Yeah, I can't do it right, but you know, that's, it's even on there. So that's kind of neat, kind of that old Batman, uh, you know, series style uh, with that. That's kind of cool. All right, there's something big, and there's something... Fabric-y, and then there's the pop. Let's grab the pop. Ooh, it's a Spider-Man pop. What are the odds? Um, regular old Spider-Man. Oh, this is, he's in opposed position, so we're gonna take this bad boy out because this is pretty cool looking. Classic Spider-Man, just the red and the blue. Um, good looking eyes. Uh, not a lot of detail. Um, real subtle details on this. Honestly, real subtle details, um, but still very cool looking. Uh, let's see. So we'll get him up here. We'll put this little stick up his butt, uh, and we will pose him there. That's really, that's that's nice. It's it's not um, it's not super like detailed and fancy, but it's just it's classic. It's good quality. Uh, like not good quality, but it's well, it's good quality, but it's it's just a good, it's just a good classic design. It's kind of a less is more mentality here with this. Um, even though he's posed and he's kind of doing that whole, you know, kind of similar to what this is here on the cover uh, with the, uh, he's kind of doing that pose. But that's just yeah. There's not a lot of super detail involved, but it's good quality. Even the hands and the yeah. This is a nice. This is a very nice pop. This is a very, very nice pop. A quality uh, Spider-Man posed variant. All right, let's grab this thing, because I saw it. We have a pop top. This, I think, is the first pop top that's been in the Marvel box. And I heard that they were going to be making pop tops uh, exclusive to one of their boxes. Uh, but they had one in the... Um, they had one in that last uh, Star Wars box. So I don't know if maybe it's going to be exclusive to both of these boxes or if it's going to be exclusive to their boxes. Uh, I'm not quite certain. This is a good quality hat. It's, wow, this is actually a really nice, now you, I, I kind of thought it was going to look pretty cheap. It's got kind of a cheap looking um, clip here, the, the snapback. But honestly, the, the quality of this hat is really nice. It's thick. It's got a real thick canvas. It's, it's, it's not, um, you know, it's not flexible, really. It's not, you know, it's not soft. It's, it's got some, some, some bite to it. Uh, you got the Spider-Man logo on the back. And then uh, you got the really cool uh, Spider-Man um, logo on the front. And then the Marvel Pop. I'm not thrilled with this bill here on the bottom. Um, I don't like the pattern bills. But, uh, oh yeah, that is not a good look for me. Yeah, that is... Oh, I do not look right. Uh, some people can pull off the, the flat cap. I cannot. Uh, so I'm going to immediately uh, fix this situation and try and uh, remedy that real quick by giving it a good old... Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's a much better... Yeah, I, I don't... I, my head is too big uh, for the flat top. It just... It's like, wow, that's a lot of space right there. It looks like I got the Earth's equator kind of just etched out on the top of my forehead. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is good. It's a nice... It sits real well. I like this hat, actually. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to, but uh, but I do. I like this hat a lot. It's it's not it's not all that uncomfortable. It's uh, even though it's, it's stiff, it's still got some weight to it. Uh, it's it's still got some softness to it. I like this. This is a nice hat. I might uh, might have to rock this a little bit. Now, do I keep the sticker on, or do I take it off? Because it's really popular now to keep the sticker on. But again, I don't think I'm that guy. So. I'm gonna keep the sticker uh, on for now, uh, but I would probably take it off before we're in public. We'll see, now I bent it, so it's all like, uh, whatever. Uh, but this is an exclusive item. All of these items are exclusive, but uh, uh, yeah, this is exclusive. And then our last item, it looks like, uh, ooh, this is probably the item that has never been in a box before. Uh, this is a fabrication. 
a Spider-Man fabrication. I do not believe there is a Spider-Man fabrication as yet. Um, so this would be the first one. And um, yeah, he's really good looking. Fabrications are kind of cool because they're they're stuffed animal style, but they're not um, like they're 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 set up so that you can kind of you can kind of display them. Um, they stand up on their own and uh, they've got flat feet or whatever. I'm not gonna get this bad boy out. Let's try this. Um, you've got some like designs on the inside about how they you know kind of like the sketching of it when they made it. Um, so that's kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, so let's pull this bed right out. Come on, slick. Try it one more time. One more time. I'm mangling the box more than I'm cutting it. There we go. Almost smacked myself in the face with the knife. Don't play with knives, kids, especially if you're an idiot. All right, take him out and have a look. Yeah, these are cool. I I'm not a fan of tags. I think sometimes the tags are too big. I get why they're there, but sometimes they're just way too big. So yeah, the, the thing about fabrications is they stand. So it's a stuffed animal that totally stands on his own. So Spidey here um, uh, has got flat feet and they're weighted down a little bit. Uh, they're, they're kind of a hard plastic. So he will sit on a shelf. Um, he will sit on anything you want him to sit on. As long as, ah, oh, I just, Spider-Man just dive bombed my set. Uh, as long as uh, it's a, a level surface, he can stand up on it. Nice quality, got a little bit of the vinyl um, on the blue parts, um, vinyl along the webbing, though the webbing is vinyl on the body, uh, it looks like, and then it's stitched in on the face. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Uh, the, the logo on the back, the spider logo. Yeah, this is really, uh, this is really nice. And I think this is the, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the variation that we saw in Civil War. I think this is the same outfit we saw in Civil War on Spider-Man. Um, I don't know for certain if that's correct, but it looks like it is. Um, and that was a great outfit. So this is nice. This was a good looking box. Uh, for me not really wanting it, I'm, I'm actually pleased with everything I got. Uh, this fabrication is really cool. Um, I kind of like fabrications. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, the pops, really. Uh, I love the dorms, and I think, uh, I think I like fabrications, too. And I love mystery minis. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think I might be pro fabrication. So, uh, this is a good-looking box. Uh, again, we got the uh, Spider-Man uh, fabrication, the pop, the patch, the pin, and the hat, and the comic. Let's take a look and see if there was any kind of variations and whatnots. Uh, this is the 10th. Spider-Man pop that has been created, but this is the first posed Spider-Man pop, leaping posed Spider-Man pop. So uh, they did some variations on it. Uh, uh, really looks really good. Um, let's see. Uh, the variant cover, uh, some concepts on the fabrication. Um, let's see. The uh, the hat, the Marvel pop tops will be only available through Marvel Collector Core. So uh, even though it was available in the um, Smuggler's Bounty Star Wars box, the pop from now on will only be available in the Collector Core, probably as a variant on getting a shirt. So, um, which is nice to mix it up. I'm not a big, uh, I'm not all in on shirts. Like uh, they're nice, but uh, but if you got a, if you got a quality product uh, elsewhere, uh, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to getting a shirt. So, uh, and then the patch and fit. So, we got fabrication, we got the pop, we got the patch, and we got the pin, and then we got the pop top and the comic. Uh, now, I know a lot of people have been questioning the value of the Funko boxes um, recently because uh, there was some issues with the, uh, the one-year box, and it was kind of cheap looking. So a lot of people have been wondering if, there's a, if, if the value is there. So I wanted to kind of break this down a little bit. Now, a lot of people said you can get a pop for like seven bucks. And that's true, you can get a pop for seven bucks, but these are exclusive pops. So, and these are only available in a small batch. So it's not like this is a Target exclusive where they're making a couple thousand of these and then maybe they'll make a couple thousand more and they're just sold at Target. And then maybe down the line they show up somewhere else. These are, for the time being, these are exclusive to the box. So this is probably about a $20, $25 item. Let's call it what it is. It's an exclusive item. 
um, it's leaping. So this is probably a $20 pop. Uh, the fabrication, again, another exclusive. You can't get this in on, you can't go to Walmart and get a Spider-Man fabrication, especially in this design. And like I said, I don't think there's any uh, Spider-Man in the fabrications anyway. So this is probably, again, another $20 item. The pin, you're probably looking at 3 or $4. It's a good quality pin, maybe even as much as 5 Again, same thing with the patch, probably 3 4 $5 for a good quality looking patch like that. Uh, a variant cover comic, probably around $4. And a hat like this, you're probably going to pay, uh, honestly, $18 to $20. It's, an, it's a nice quality hat. It's an exclusive hat. Um, so you're looking at $20, $60, $20, $40, $60, $70, $74, $75, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,